Okay, guys, God bless you and welcome to This Is It. Before the fire. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Um, guys, I'm trying to produce a video right now, and where I'm at is I'm in Houston and I'm at the Ark, but I'm also trying to uh, I'm trying to get this video out to you guys today, but we're having some problems. We're having some technical issues on computer stuff that's usually fairly straightforward, usually very simple to do. So I know the way God works, and sometimes the Lord orchestrates things as a timing thing. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to fix my D-Rag thing here. So anyway, so what I want to do is uh, I'm going to tell you right now, sometimes there are scriptures that everyone in the world thinks they knew because they were told by some preacher in some church where they didn't even have the key to understanding anything. The Bible says, Woe unto you teachers of the law, for you hide the key to knowledge. You don't enter the kingdom yourself and you stop others who are trying to enter. So I'm here to deliver that key of knowledge to the whole world. That's what I've been doing. And some of the scriptures that nobody, nobody had brought forth, the Lord God gave to me in order to be an end time harbinger so people would know the truth. The Bible says in the end, everything secret will be made public. He's, uh, he's allowed me to participate in that. Uh, I, I did videos a long time ago, well, several years ago, the Unrolled Scroll. And I showed you guys that the Lord had said, this is the Unrolled Scroll. He has unrolled the scroll, and here it is, deliver it. Um, I'm going to give you guys uh, some scriptures that show how the Christians, uh, those that are uh, God's... God's descendants, the descendants of Christ, Judah, you know, Jews. A lot of people don't understand the lion of the tribe of Judah. We're from the tribe of Judah. If you get reconciled, you'll realize who you are. A lot of people may, oh, you don't. Every time I come to you, I come with the word of God, and I come with not just the word of God, the perfection of the Word of God. And so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring you a, a set of scriptures that's going to explain the current world pandemic. You're going to see where it was in the scriptures. Uh, you're going to see a, a scripture that the entire world has told you meant, it meant something else than what it actually means. And I'm here to tell you the Lord delivered it, and he delivered it with a mind-boggling confirmation. And it's not arguable because I'm going to be able to show it to you using the spiritual gifting that the Lord's given to me. Just like showing you the Vatican's a snake and the largest altar in the world is male and female reproductive systems, and uh, they just happen to be a big dead sheep. No one can argue with that because it's a picture. It's an image. It was an image that was hidden right in front of you. and It was hidden in plain sight. So now... He went, I, I can see what the Lord was doing. He was orchestrating the entire cumulative sum of the information to already be part of the public domain. And then he would give me the scripture that I'm going to deliver to you that's going to show you, you're going to know that this is, that's the world's done. It's over. You're going to know why. You're going to know how everything the Lord's let me show you has been 100% true. You're going to see a scripture that the churches have told you was one thing that was not at all what it was. Just like Genesis 1. Everyone that said, oh, Genesis 1 is let us make man in our image. The reason they say uh, us is because it's the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Elohim is not the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Elohim, when, the, when the Bible says in Genesis 1, let us make man in our image, it says Elohim said. Let us make man in our image. The word image means a representative figure, especially an idol. That's what the word image means. So if you think the Lord God makes an idol, then you're delusional. Uh, or you don't know the word of God at all. Because the Lord God brings judgment upon his people because of idolatry. He does it all the time. And so whenever his people get wrapped up in idolatry, 
then that's when they get in big, big trouble. And so if you think that the beginning of the Bible when it said, Elohim said, let us make man in our image, represented in figure, especially an idol, that's what image means. If you think that's the Lord God uh, creating an idol, well, then either you're delusional or you've never read nor understood the Bible or what that word means. So anyway, again, I'm going to deliver to you in the next video something more earth-shattering or as earth-shattering as Genesis 1 that was taught to everybody incorrectly. And it has to do with the end of the world. And the whole world was lied to and deceived about what it was because it's a way to keep you from knowing the absolute truth. If they could misteach you a couple scriptures and they could totally screw you over on understanding the word of God. And so that's where I'm going to stand in the gap for you guys because that's what the Lord, he predestined me for. That's why Jonathan means Yahweh has given my name reflects the plans the Lord God has for me and uses me for. So anyway, I just wanted to, I want to let you know now, I wanted to do the video right now and I'm sitting here trying to do it, but there's just too many hurdles. There's just too many obstacles. And when there's that many obstacles, I know it's usually the Lord saying, just slow down, wait a minute. And then he delivered a confirmation literally within moments after uh, trying to get this whole thing ready for y'all. He delivered it uh, right in the mail. I opened up a I opened up a letter and it was like, <laughs> see, it was impossible. Anyway, all right, guys, I love you in Christ. Here's the thing: the end of the world's here. I guarantee it. I absolutely guarantee you. We're we are at the end of the end of the world. It's here. And uh, so, unless you're in Christ, unless you've been reconciled to Christ, uh, you're gonna see the end of the world rolling out. You're gonna see World War Three rolling out. Famine, pestilence, destruction, the beasts of the earth, the whole thing, you're going to get to see it. Uh, personally, I don't want to have to see any of it. I'd I pray that I'm accounted worthy to stand before the Son of Man and escape all these horrors. Because that's what the Bible says. There's those that can escape all these horrors. And I hope to be uh, one of those that are that's accounted worthy to escape all these horrors. And uh, from what he's shown me in Revelation 3... Um, that is uh, the bride of Christ. Because you have kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from the hour of testing. And I'll give you the name of my God and the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, new city of peace, which come down, which cometh down out of heaven. So anyway, to come down, you got to go up. So without getting into a Bible lesson, without having the Bible in front of you on the screen, um, We'll just hold off until the next video when I can get it all just right in front of you. All right, guys. Peace and grace. The end's here. I hope everybody is at peace. Uh, there's nothing to worry about. If you're in Christ, then you're in Christ. Uh, if you're not in Christ, uh, now it's time to seek Jesus with your whole heart. And you've been inverted. You got brought away, carried away captive to a system called the flesh and your essence got inverted. You were inverted into the system. And the host body, which is your flesh, just like that briefcase uh, in the video I just showed you, it's just a shell. Your host body is just a shell, and it's inherently evil. The host body is inherently evil, and it's attached to what's called the citra acra, which means the realm of evil from the other side. And if you look in the Bible, if you look in Genesis, I think Genesis 5, uh, you look at when uh, he says, and the God of the Hebrews, the word Hebrews means from the other side. So to so this race of beings here, we're the foreigners. They hate us. We're the foreigners that were led away captive here, and they absolutely hate us. Uh, by the way, that's why there's a band called Alice in Chains, because Alice means of nobility. And see, we were princes, and we were led away captive in chains. The chains are the host bodies that we're in. And as long as you think your host body is who you are, that's the greatest deceit there is. This flesh is not who I am. This is not who I am. This is just the shell that I am in. So your true essence is, you know, the Bible says it's what comes out of your mouth that defiles you, not what goes in it. Because a lot of people are afraid to eat this or that because it'll make you un unfit for talking to God. That's not true. What makes you unfit is what comes out of your mouth, not what goes in your mouth. 
because that shows who and what you are. The Bible says, out of the mouth, the abundance of the heart speaks. So that's why when I like read, I read a lot of these people's comments that are just so rude and hateful. I'm like, and you think you belong to Christ. Okay, all right, <laughs> good for you. Anyway, so just wanted to give you a little heads up. You have a video coming, and it'll, it'll probably take me uh, maybe tomorrow night or the following day to have it up. I'm going to give you a scripture that is totally, totally changes the whole world and the whole playing field, and it makes sense of the entire uh, coronavirus thing. Remember, corona means crown, and if you're from heaven and you're trapped in their system, coronavirus would apply to you, and it means it would mean that you're the virus. Anyway, keep that in mind, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, peace and grace.